So, hello and welcome back guys to mock up art. Now, we will do a coffee brandy mock up. This is a coffee packet that we'll be doing. But we have already done one coffee brandy mock up. So you can ask why this one again? Because today we have bring, brought something new. And this is exactly a little bit similar but not exactly the same. So this is a unique and easy way to do it. And before that, before we start, let me tell you that you can download the paste file of this mocha from the description box. There's a link provided. Let's start our mocha. So first, as you know, we will take paint tool. And then we will always check it is selected on shape. Then press Ctrl plus and zoom in the image. And then select the old subject that you have. We will take these points randomly as you know these paint we just select on the straight lines. So later we will always have to make it prominent with the curve. We will add anchor point too. So right now we will just roughly select the object. Observe me carefully. Find her yet. Now we will press double zero and we'll decrease the opacity. Then we'll take add anchor point tool and then we will create the points to make the curves prominent in the selection that we have done so far. You will have to select it very very minutely so that the extra parts are not left out or no extra part is selected either. See how I am taking and adjusting all the points and adding millions of points. That is not an issue. You can add as many points as you want. And you can just adjust the picture, move the picture as you want by pressing left, right, up, down, teeth from the keyboard. And you can just do your thing. Wait, just make sure that you select all the curved areas properly. This is a very, very uh, tiny tutorial we have brought it for you. And we are trying to show you it in a very nutshell. And if you like what you are seeing, please, please make sure to subscribe. That is also a way to support us. And you can definitely download the PhD files as I said before. From the description box the, box, the link will be given in there. So do not forget to check it out. And please hit that subscription button. Because that is necessary. So that you don't miss any other updates that will be posting. So as you can see here I am making the curves. I'm taking one point, I'm taking several points actually, and then I'm making the curves very prominent and doing a fine tuning just so it, later when I work on this, it looks realistic and no part is left out. You know, the part we will be placing our smart object in is, has been selected. And then we now take a smart object, uh, the rectangle tool, we will draw it over it. And then we'll just change the color just so it understand it and then we will right click on the layer and convert it to smart object and then we will decrease the opacity a little and then we will press ctrl t and it will be transformed and then we will right click on the shape and select desert and then you will be able to adjust the rectangle when then this four points of this rectangle we will place it on the four points of the coffee bag and then we will press wrap Again, by pressing right click on it, we will select wrap and then with mouse, we will just adjust the point by placing it on top of the coffee sack and then take an extra grid. The place you need to increase or decrease, the place you need to adjust in one word that uh, you can just take a grid and adjust the width of it with it. But then at the time also, we'll take another grid. The moment you select wrap, this 
option will be available by this greed. Selecting this greed will be there, option will be available. And then we will, after we have done the wrapping part, now we will press control and select the shape and then we will select on mask. We have pressed control, shape and then mask. So when we do that, the whole smart object will be masked. It will be wrapped around the, your object and then we will press the design that we have already selected before on the smart object. Press Ctrl T and adjust the picture, adjust the size, then press, then press the right or save the image so that it is updated in the main picture. Once you are done, and then click on the mask and then click on the main layer. Then press Ctrl J so you will have a full uh, coffee bag in a separate layer, alright, without the background. There, press two more Ctrl Z's, Ctrl Z and another Ctrl Z. With this, you will have two more copies of it. So in, in total, you will have three copies and then name them as Light, Midtone and Shadow. And then we will shadow transform the shadow from normal to linear mode. As you can see, the effect is coming. Then we'll switch on the Midtone. Then it will be linear dodge add. And we'll press Ctrl A. We'll go to levels. And then we will adjust the points there to take it a little as you can see there is a yellow tone in the pictures we will adjust that a little later first let me uh, adjust the, this part only then switch on the light and go to screen and then again control L and adjust the levels a little there is a light but it is it's a little yellowish the light but we need it a little Oh, you know, white and light, so that we will show later how we will adjust it so as you have done it. And then again, by selecting light, we will go to adjustments and hue saturation and then from there we will go to make the saturation zero. And again for the make tool, we will again go to hue saturation adjustments, hue saturation and make the saturation zero. For every layer, this light return shadow, we will go to adjustments, hue saturation and make the saturation zero, hue and saturation zero. From there, the yellowish effect that we had or the any color effect that you have will be vanished and the coffee packet will look whitish. So with these little steps, we have uh, made a uh, very, very nice, uh, it looks realistic, you can't deny. Uh, we have made this coffee branding. And as you can switch on and switch off the layers and see the different editable parts with the red uh, layer. And that's it for today. If you, we have already made our object. If you liked what you saw, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more updates. Thank you for watching.